Studio One 5.3 also brings the number one feature request for sound variations and that is the ability to switch MIDI channels with sound variations. This is extremely useful if you're trying to switch contact patches on the fly without any interruptions or if you want to switch patches on your external synthesizer that are preloaded to different MIDI channels which is often much smoother than the classic program and bank changes. Here's a really nice phrase from my good friend and colleague Lukas Roschitzka that demonstrates this in action. Pay attention to how the sound switches from a piano to a harp to a synthesizer back to a piano completely seamlessly. Studio One 5.3 brings a brand new musical symbols lane to the musical editor. This allows composers to add musical symbols to their music either in piano view or in score view and have this change the velocity or the way the instruments play. Mapping musical symbols to sound variations is compatible with pretty much any orchestra library you can imagine and the whole process becomes a lot more convenient since most of the mappings are completely automatic. Speaking of convenience, the Opus player from East West is the next instrument to fully support sound variations in its version 1.0.3. This means that we have yet another prestigious instrument that doesn't require any manual mapping of key switch articulations. And as you can see, all of the key switch articulations that are being used by this patch that I just loaded are directly reported and ready to use in Studio One. And of course, you can also directly assign musical symbols to these. There's also a brand new global track for sound variations, which is great if you just want to have quick visibility of all your articulations without having to open up an entire part automation lane. 